Hey, what's going on guys? This is D from GameXTC and today I'm going to show you how to make your own free McBoot memory card. Hi there. Oh, you can You talk too much. <laughs> Now before we get started, there are a few things that we need. First, we need a blank DVD, a DVD rewriter, a USB flash drive, and also a PS2 memory card, which has to be original or has Magic Gate. The first thing you wanna do is fire up your PS2. And when it starts, you want to press triangle so you can see which version of the console you actually have. And before I go into the next part, it's worth mentioning that all the links will be provided in the description. Now that we know which version of the PS2 we have, we make our way over to the free DVD boot compatibility list. You find your SKU model and check to see if the revision, design, browser, and CD player matches your console. If the status is yes, we then click the hybrid link so we can download the ISO image. We also need the free McBoot installer. If you scroll down this page, you'll see it just listed underneath download. Left click, start your installation. And finally, you'll need to be able to burn your files to your DVD. For this, I use Image Burner. Click the Download Now button and download Softpedia Mirror and your files will start to download. As we've now downloaded all the files that we need for this to work, the first thing we're gonna do is install our Image Burner. Double click and you may receive a Microsoft Verified App pop-up. If you do, select Install Anyway as this is a trusted application. Select Next, I Accept, then Next, 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 and then next again. Halfway through the installation, you may receive a pop-up that says, periodically image burn checks for a newer version. Now it's up to you if you wanna select yes or no. For the purpose of this tutorial, I selected no. When the installation is complete, click finish. You can then delete image burner and connect your CD writer and your blank CD to your laptop or PC, and then launch image burner. You then wanna select the right image file to disk option. Select your source, which is your ISO file. Select the slowest speed possible for your write speed. In this case, I'm gonna select 1x and then hit write. Once the image has been burnt to your DVD, you will receive an operation successfully completed pop-up. Simply click okay and then close the application. You can then delete your ISO and we can work on the final file alongside adding our games. Now, please bear in mind that Windows cannot natively format any USB stick that's larger than 32 gigabytes. For us to format our USB stick, we need to use an application called GUI Format. The link's in the description. Once downloaded and the application is open, please ensure that you select the correct drive. And once selected, you click Start, OK. And as soon as the process is complete, you click Close. As that's done, open your formatted USB stick and create a folder called DVD. You can then drag your PS2 iOS files into this folder. And whilst it's doing that, let's work on the FMCB file. Using an application like 7-Zip, you want to right click your FMCB file and select Extract 2. This will create a new folder, which you should rename to FMCB, just to keep things simple. And then delete the zipped FMCB file. You then add your FMCB file to the root of your formatted USB stick which should look like this. You've got your DVD folder for your games and you also have your FMCB file. You can then delete your downloaded FMCB file and eject your USB stick. Now that's the PC done, we can move on to the PS2. Insert your memory card, your USB stick and your disc. And then power it on. Once your PS2 is powered back on, you'll be taken to an application called Launch Elf. You may be slightly confused, but the buttons are in reverse. And what I mean by this is that your circle is your confirmation button instead of your X. So here you wanna press circle for file browser. You then wanna scroll down to mass and select circle and scroll down to FMCB, select circle and then select circle on FMCB installer. It will then bring you to an installation page and you'll notice that your buttons will revert back to the PS2 standard buttons, meaning that your X is now the confirmation button and your circle is to cancel. You wanna click X on install, which will bring you to where FMCB will be installed onto the memory card in slot one page. Here you wanna select yes. And then your installation type is normal. The installation will start and then it will say complete. So let's restart your console. When you're firing up your PS2, the free McBoot software will then launch. You wanna scroll down to OPL and then click enter. Your OPL will then launch and all you have to do here is click left to navigate to the USB stick. 
which will then load your games and all you have to do is select X on the game that you want to play. So guys, if you found this video useful, please feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.